खेल और फिटनेस पर भारत के सबसे बड़े क्विज फिट इंडिया क्विज में आपका स्वागत है आज हम छत्तीसगढ़ में छत्तीसगढ़ को अपने हरे भरे धान के खेतों के लिए जाना जाता है छत्तीसगढ़ प्राचीन स्मारकों और पहाड़ी इलाकों के लिए भी प्रसिद्ध है छत्तीसगढ़ में क्रिकेट फुटबॉल हॉकी और वॉलीबॉल सबसे ज्यादा लोकप्रिय खेल फिट इंडिया क्विज में आज छत्तीसगढ़ के चार विद्यालय एक दूसरे के साथ कड़ा मुकाबला करेंगे तो बिना देर किए चलिए क्विज का रोमांचक दौर शुरू करते हैं नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द फिट इंडिया क्विज We are here with the fourth semi-final. Yes, the fourth and final semi-final of Chhattisgarh State. We have already had three editions at this level, and now we are here with the last of the semi-finals. The winning team from here will make it through into the state final. With a total cash award of 3.25 crore rupees, the Fit India Quiz is presented by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and supported by the Ministry of Education. This year in its second edition the Fit India Quiz has seen participation from a total of almost 62000 students from over 16700 schools from 700 plus districts of India truly a nationwide footprint This is the Chhattisgarh edition the fourth semi final and it's time to meet our teams Namaste sir myself Sir Pandey I am from class 9 Sri Gujarati English medium high secondary school and for keeping myself fit i do yoga or zumba at home namaste sir i am manso sinha from class 9 from sri gujarati english medium school my favorite game is badminton namaskar sir my name is pramit bhoye from opindal school taraimal raigarh and for keeping me fit i play football namaste sir my name is manshu patel i am from class 10 of pikinder ये थे हमारे चार टीम्स और उनमें शरीक हुए आठ बच्चे लेट्स नाउ मूव टुवर्ड्स द एक्चुअल गेम प्ले ऑफ द शो विद आर फोर टीम्स लेट्स गो इनटू टू आर फर्स्ट राउंड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड गेट वी विल बी आस्किंग ऑल द टीम्स फॉर क्वेश्चंस। दीज क्वेश्चंस, एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर विल बी प्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एनाग्राम they could spell out a person's name it could be a place it could be a sporting venue or stadium it could even be a term from fitness health nutrition and or sports it could be anything we will tell you what it is of course and i will read out all the letters that are available for you on screen once that is done we will set your buzzers alive and then you have to press the buzzer the first team to press the buzzer gets to answer first Your answer is correct. आपको मिलेंगे एक शून्य शून्य यानी एक सौ पॉइंट्स. If you give us a wrong answer, not such a problem. आपको पॉइंट्स मिलेंगे नहीं, लेकिन you will not lose any points for pressing the buzzer in round one. Understood? Let's go into our first question. Coming up for all the teams on screen. Here it is. Identify this famous sports person, sporting legend, or well, at least a hero, heroine, whatever one may find the answer to be. The letters are N I A S A first name, R A Z I M second name. Your buzzers go live now. And. The first team to press the buzzer is Sri Gujarati English Medium. Quickly unmute yourselves and tell us what the answer is. San Sanya Mirza. Sanya Mirza कहते हैं हिमांशु from Sri Gujarati English Medium. 
लेट्स सी इफ योर आंसर इज राइट बिकॉज इफ इट इज आपको मिलेंगे एक सौ पॉइंट सानिया मिर्जा इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट वेल डन गुड टू गेट ऑफ द मार्क इज एंट इट ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Once again, a sports person identify this person, this player, famous in his or her field, and the letters are A L L U P E L. First name, second word or second name P I N C H A D O G. Your buzzers go live now. This time round, it is. Brahma with the Global School Team D that has pressed the buzzer first. Let's find out from them what the answer is. Pullela Gopi Chand. Pullela Gopi Chand. And what does Pullela Gopi Chand play? What is he or she famous for? He is a badminton player. He is a badminton champion. And let's confirm whether you are right or not. I don't think you are waiting very. Uh, You know, anxiously because you seem to know it, right? Well done, Brahma Vid. That is the correct answer. Pullela Gopi Chand, the ace shuttler and then turned coach. Hundred points to Team D to catch up with Team A. Let's now move towards the third question. Here it is coming up on screen for all the teams. Remember to read the letters and then go for your buzzers. identify another famous sports person indian player of great renown your letters are h a n d j a r first name y a l p i l second name your buzzers go live now and once again it is team a shri gujarati english medium that has pressed the buzzer first let's see what their answer is So actually, it was pressed by a mistake. Oh, you pressed it by mistake. Well, I'm afraid no mistakes allowed in the game. We will show you the answer. The correct answer there is on your screens. Dhanraj Pille. Dhanraj Pille, हमारे बहुत ही अच्छे बढ़िया हॉकी प्लेयर रह चुके हैं. Captain of the Indian hockey team and uh, considered one of the best players from India to have never won an Olympic gold medal. Let's go into question number 4. This is the fourth and final question of this round. Let's see what we have in store for you. Again, a famous sports person. Letters are S H A R K A P. First word, second word or second name D U K E O P A N. Your buzzers go live now. This time it's again Brahma Vid. I hope this time Brahma Vid, आप से आपने गलती से तो नहीं दबाया कह दोगे? No, नहीं आप जवाब देंगे. Okay, great. What is the answer? Prakash Padukone. Prakash Padukone is what you say. Let's see if you get a hundred points for that, Brahma Vid. Absolutely correct. Well done. The badminton ace from India back in the 1980s. 100 points to team D well done we end this round here and take a look at the scores OP Jindal Taraimal and OP Jindal Urja Nagar not yet off the mark 100 points to team A Shri Gujarati Higher Secondary School English Medium Higher Secondary School and leading the table at this stage with a score of 200 points we have Brahma Vid the global school That's the end of round 1 we move into our second round Fitness is a lifestyle and helps you in leading a healthy and prosperous life. Let's take a look at this little video that may help you do that.
now move into our second round, which is called Set. In this round, we'll tell you the rules and gameplay. In this round, each team will be shown a set of six subjects on screen. The teams have to choose one of those subjects and will be asked a question on it. If your answer is right, you get 100 points. If you think you're not sure of the answer, you want some help, we have two helplines available. The first helpline is show options. We will give you three options, including the correct answer. Yes, we'll be showing you the actual correct answer on screen. You just have to tell us what it is. And uh, the other helpline is swap the question. From the same theme, the same subject, we will give you another question. But these lifelines or these helplines come at a cost. If you use a helpline and give us the correct answer, you then get 50 points. In either case, helpline or not, if you give us a wrong answer, you don't get any points. If you're already teams, let's start with team number A, Shri Gujarati English Medium. Ye rahe aapke che themes. What would you like to take? So we will choose multi-sport events. Multi-sport events, fantastic. That refers to all the programs like the Olympic Games, the Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, and other such uh, you know events where there are many different sports being played together. Here is your question. Which city hosted the first South Asian Games in 1984? So we will take Lifeline. Okay, helpline Lee Apne Konsi Wali. So swap the question. Okay, the... they don't know. Okay, we will swap the question for you. They don't know what the answer could even be. So let us give them a replacement question. Here it is coming up on screen. Siddharth Chaudhary broke the national youth record for which sport at the Khelo India Youth Games 2023? That answer is shooting. Shooting is the answer. Shayad, Bharosa nahi hai ki ye sahi jawab hai. Thoda sa doubt hai. But shooting is what uh, Team A has said. Let's see if their answer is correct. No, that is not correct. Shoot nahi short. Shooting nahi short putt. Not a problem, Shri Gujarati English Medium. We still have one round left. Bahut sare mauke milenge aapko point score karne ke. We move on to Team B, OP Jindal, NSPL, Taraimal. Let's have the subjects, the themes up for them. What do you want? Sir, we'll take cricket. Cricket. Chalye. Let's see what we have for you on cricket. Here's your question. Which bird is shown on the crest of the Australian Cricket Board? Australian Cricket Board ka jo crest hota hai, jo har khiladi ka jo blazer hota hai, uspe bana hota hai, unki jo topi hoti hai ya helmet hota hai, uspe bana hua hota hai, uspe ek pakshi dikhaya gaya hai, darshaya gaya hai. Which bird is it? That is your question for 100 points. Upi Jindal, NSPL Taraiman. Sir, down. Dove is your answer that you have locked in OP Jindal School NSPL Taraimal. Let's see if your answer is right. Answer reveal, please. And unfortunately, it is not a dove, it is an emu. So, no points for you there, OP Jindal School NSPL Taraimal. We go on to our third team, which is also OP Jindal School, this time Urjanagar. What would you like, Opi Jindal? So we would also go with cricket. Urja Nagar bhi cricket ki taraf khiche ja rahe hai. They have chosen cricket as their theme. Let's have a question on cricket for them. Coming up on your screen. For which team did the famous commentator Jeffrey Boycott play test cricket? Jeffrey Boycott बहुत ही मशहूर कमेंटेटर थे किस देश के लिए वो टेस्ट क्रिकेट खेला करते थे सो वी वुड लाइक टू यूज द हेल्पलाइन ओके हेल्पलाइन कमिंग अप दो हैं कौन सी वाली ऑप्शंस या 
swap the question. So we swap the question. You want to swap the question? Okay. ठीक है. We accede to your demand. We take your request, note it down, stamp it, and it is processed to the system. Please swap the question. Who scored the first ever century for India in Test cricket? Test cricket में भारत के लिए सबसे पहला शतक किसने बनाया? Sir Sunil Gavaskar. Sunil Gavaskar. Let's see if Sunil Gavaskar is the correct answer. And does he get you? Oh, he doesn't. Unfortunately, the correct answer is Lala Amarnath. So Lala Amarnath scored the first Test century for India, and uh, not Sunil Gavaskar. Unfortunately, no points for you, Op Jindal Urjanagar. And we move to our fourth team for the last choice of this round. Brahmavid, the Global School. Here is your set of themes. What do you want? Indoor and traditional sports. Indoor and traditional sports for Brahmavid Team D. Let's mark it and give them a question. Huda, Madha, Hadeo, and Parip. I am not sure if I am pronouncing them absolutely correctly. It could be Huda, Madha, Hadeo, and Parip are terms associated with the traditional form of which sport that is very very popular and prevalent in Sikkim. Sikkim archery. Sikkim archery. एक फटाफट जवाब दे दिया इट्स लाइक यू मैप्ड आउट दिस स्टेट दिस स्पॉट सो सिक्किम आर्चरी लेट्स सी इफ योर आंसर इज करेक्ट ब्रह्मावेद आर्चरी इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट यू हैव सम वे ऑफ प्रिपरेशन व्हिच इज प्रूविंग टू बी वेरी इफेक्टिव 100 पॉइंट्स वंस अगेन टू ब्रह्मावेद द ग्लोबल स्कूल दे डिडंट नीड अ हेल्पलाइन वेन स्ट्रेट फॉर द आंसर वेल डन वेरी वेल प्लेड ब्रह्मावेद and uh, from what i can see you guys are the youngest contestants on our quiz today and you are doing excellent work congratulations to team d for that right answer they get 100 points and we take a look at the scoreboard after two rounds after two rounds the two op jindals being very very friendly towards each other neither of them wanting to show the other one up in the scheme of things not wanting to show that uh, the other team is not as good as them they're both still not yet off the mark but shri gujarati high secondary school is on 100 points and going a little further into the lead brahma with the global school we have an exciting mobile application coming up for you this application makes staying fit and healthy very easy and very very cheap because it's free you don't have to spend a single rupee to access this application the fit india mobile app is available on play store as well as the app store and it allows you it is in fact the only app that allows you to measure your own fitness score with fitness parameters which are based on age appropriate protocols which are formulated by the who in addition you have customized diet plans you have a sleep tracker and your daily step monitor which tells you whether you've walked enough or not also very importantly that sleep tracker don't forget about it because sleep is the essence of good life let's know a little more about the fit india app life mein challenges kabhi bhi aur kahin bhi aa sakte hain aur hum inka acche se tabhi samna kar sakte hain जब हम तैयार हों इनको फेस करने के लिए हम अगर हेल्दी और फिट हैं, तो हमारी तैयारी और भी बेहतर हो जाती है बस जरूरत है थोड़ी सी मेहनत थोड़े से अनुशासन की प्रेजेंटिंग फिट इंडिया मोबाइल ऐप आपका फिटनेस गाइड और पर्सनल हेल्थ ट्रेनर पहली बार अब भारत का हर एक नागरिक अपना फिटनेस कोर पता करके जान पाएगा की कि वो कितना फिट है आप अपनी आयु के अनुसार अपने फिटनेस स्कोर की जांच कर सकते हैं ये सुविधा खास आपके लिए पहली बार शुरू की जा रही है ये ऐप आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को ट्रैक कर सारा डेटा स्टोर करता है ताकि आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस देख सकें और फिट रहने के नए और आसान नुस्खे अपना पाएं। 
इस ऐप के साथ आप बन सकते हैं खुद के फिटनेस मास्टर उसके बाद हम आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को बनाने में आपकी मदद करेंगे फिटनेस की दुनिया में कदम रखें मोटिवेटेड रहें और अपडेटेड रहें और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि इन सारी सुविधाओं का लाभ आप पा सकते हैं एकदम फ्री बस अपने एंड्रॉइड और एप्पल डिवाइस पर हमारे ऐप का हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्जन डाउनलोड करें और शुरू हो जाइए आपका फिट रहने का सपना अब है एक क्लिक दूर फिटनेस की डोज आधा घंटा रोज वी नाउ हेडिंग इन टू आर थर्ड एंड फाइनल लैप विच इज आर थर्ड राउंड In our third and final round we will be asking a set of six questions of the teams. These teams these questions will be open to all the teams on the buzzer. Yes, once again they have to press the buzzer to answer. I will read out the question it will appear on screen and I will then give you a cue that your buzzers are live now. Once I say that then you have to press the buzzer because if you press before that it will not record your press. Clear so far? Once you've been identified as a team that press the buzzer first answer immediately a wrong answer or a delayed answer both of them will be treated the same will cost you 50 points but a right answer will get you add 50 points to your tally okay all set we are going into our third and final round go the first question on the buzzer coming up for all the team What was the surname of the famous bodybuilding champion Charles Dash? That surname refers to a book that contains and has many maps. Your buzzers go live now. And it is Brahma with team D that has pressed the buzzer and they must answer now for that 50 points. Charles Atlas एटलस आपने कहा एटलस एक किताब होती है उसमें कई सारे मैप्स होते हैं और भी कभी कभी इंफॉर्मेशन होती है बट द प्राइमरी फंक्शन ऑफ दैट बुक इज टू शो यू मैप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लेट्स सी इफ यू आंसर इज करेक्ट चार्ल्स एटलस इज एब्सोल्यूटली राइट वेल डन फिफ्टी पॉइंट गुड आंसर वेरी वेल डन यू आर थिंकिंग यू किड्स आर थिंकिंग स्मार्टली एंड यू आर थिंकिंग ऑन योर फीट brilliantly answered there well done next question coming up question number 2 in which city was the indian test cricketer rohit sharma born naam suna hai aapne rohit sharma famous batter these days in which city was he born your buzzers go live now and this time the first team to press the buzzer is op jindal school urja nagar team c what is your answer op jindal so mumbai mumbai they say let's see if they are correct or not based for mumbai but op jindal he was born in nagpur okay so minus 50 to op jindal urja nagar and the third question coming up for all the teams get ready What name is given to a tennis serve which the opponent cannot even touch? Tennis mein jab aap service dalte hain aur aapke jo opponent hai pratidwandi hai wo chhu bhi nahi sakta use kya kehte hain? Your buzzers go live now. And this time the risk of losing 50 points probably weighing a little on the minds of the teams no one answering the question no one pressing the buzzer we will give you the answer it's a simple three letter word ace and ace is when you serve in tennis and your opponent cannot even touch the ball it is that good a serve it could be really fast it could be full of spin but it totally befuddles your opponent Okay, three questions down. We go into question number four, coming up on screen. With which sport in the Olympics do we associate the term recurve? Your buzzers go live now. 
Okay, and once again, the team's not going for the buzzers. Uh, Brahmavid, you have you're the only team that has scored points so far, and uh, I will close this question out. We'll show you the answer, and Brahmavid, I would have thought you had the best chance because you had said something about this particular sport a little while ago. Archery recurve is a kind is one of the categories recurve bow it is or is may the indian archers have been doing quite well in the recent few years archery mein prayog kiya jata hai ye term recurve anyways that's four questions down two questions left here is question number 5 which stroke in swimming is normally the fastest swimming mein char strokes hote hain Which of them is normally the fastest? Gets you the fastest times. Your buzzers go live now. And this time it is Team B, OP Jindal School, NSPL, Taraimal, which has pressed the buzzer first. Let's see what they have to say. Sir, final. Sorry. Final stroke. Final. Final stroke. फाइनल स्ट्रोक इन्होंने कहा है लेट सी इफ दैट इज करेक्ट इट इज नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर इन फैक्ट ओपी जिंदल एन एस पी एल आई हैव नॉट हर्ड ऑफ दिस स्ट्रोक सो माइनस फिफ्टी टू ओपी जिंदल एन एस पी एल एंड द लास्ट एंड फाइनल क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस क्विज कमिंग अप ऑन द स्क्रीन In which country were the last Asian Games held in 2018? The next Asian Games should have been held in 2022, but have been postponed because of the impact of COVID. So, where were the last Asian Games held in 2018? Your buzzers go live now. And the first team to press the buzzer, Shri Gujarati English Medium. What is your answer, Team A? Sir, Jakarta, Indonesia. I ask for the country. You say Indonesia, and let's see if your answer is correct. You said Jakarta. That is uh, the biggest city, of course. But Indonesia is what you got in. at the right time and indonesia is correct so it gets you 15 more points to gujarati english medium and uh, well done to close this round out 50 points added to your score to your tally that was the end of our quiz we had some teams scoring points we had some teams losing points and we had some teams not going for the buzzers because they were worried they would lose points so the fear of losing points on a couple of questions outweighing the chance that they would take and score points okay that is it and barring a tie this was the last question of our quiz here today the fourth semi final from chatisgarh from the last score sheet to this one i don't think there is a tie which needs to be resolved so the quiz does close here but let's officially see what the scores are at the end of our quiz Minus fifty each, and once again, if you could, you guys could uh, cross over from one screen to another and shake hands and say, "Deco, we didn't let you uh, down. We are both together. We are both OP Jindal School, and we are both on the same score." <laughs> okay, minus fifty to each of them. They tried for points in the last round. Both of them, both teams, tried to get the points, but unfortunately, got the right answer. Uh, didn't get the right answers. In second place with 150 points, we have Shri Gujarati English Medium Higher Secondary School, and the winners of this semi-final of the Chhattisgarh edition of the Fit India Quiz, Brahma Vid, the Global School. Hey, at the end of the day, a quiz is something that one team will win, but no one will lose in a quiz because you may not win the event. but you will definitely gain a lot of knowledge and on that note we take your leave we will be back with another episode of the fit india quiz until then stay curious stay smart and stay fit india namaskar <laughs>